next we are going to learn about the grammar of Moshika Stala. The grammar of Moshika Stala is mean that perhaps, maybe, perchance, by any chance, something like this. That means something that uh, not truly or not always happens. So we can say maybe, perhaps, by any chance, not always happens and not really happen. So in Japanese, when you use the grammar of Moshika Shitara, um, we can use with the plus and end by Kamoshirenai. In Japanese, you can use uh, Moshika Shitara or Moshika Suruto, it just has the same meaning. So don't be confused when you see in the Japanese, uh, they say Moshika Shitara or Moshika Suruto is mean the same meaning, is mean perhaps, maybe, perchance, by any chance. And after Moshika Shitara or Moshika Suruto, it should be some plus. And for the end of the sentence should be the Kamushire Nai. Kamushire Nai is mean perhaps, maybe, if, right? Even if uh, we translate directly, it means uh, Moshikashitara is we translate to English, it means if, or Moshikashito is also mean if, and we translate Kamushire Nai is mean perhaps. If the reduction thing, perhaps, right? Perhaps, or maybe, or by any chance, something like this. So, what you have to remember is that Moshika Stara and Moshika Sto is just have the same meaning, and after both of these should follow by some plus and end in the sentence by Kamoshile Nai. So, the next, let's see some example. The for example, Moshi Kastara Ashita Ikenai Kamoshirena. Moshi Kastara Ashita Ikenai Kamoshirena. Which means I might not be able to come tomorrow. I might not be able to come tomorrow. An example, Moshi Kastara Byuki Kamoshirena. Moshi Kashitara Byoki Kamoshirenai, which means it I might be sick. I might be sick. For the first sentence, you see that uh, be used uh, after Moshi Kashitara be used Ashita Ikenai Kamoshirenai, right? And second sentence we use with the now Byoki, right? Byoki is mean. Sick and it's a noun. Beauty comes in night. And the first sentence is just the noun. Ik do or ik mas ik nai. The next example. Moshi kashita ra kare wa ki ga kawaru kamoshiremasen. Moshi kashita ra kare wa ki ga kawaru kamoshiremasen. Which means he might change his mind. He might change his mind. Moshika Suruto Kare no Hanashi wa uso kamoshire nai. Moshika Suruto Kare no Hanashi wa uso kamoshire nai. Which means it's possible his, his, his uh, story may be a lie. It's possible his story may be a lie. For the first sentence, you see that after Moshika Shitara is the plus that Kiga Kawaru, right? Which means my, your mind change. If you say Kiga Kawaru, it means the mind change. But if you say Kiga Kawaru, Kamoshire Masen, which means your mind might be changed. Right, something like this. And for the second sentence, we use Moshika Siruto and followed by the plus Kare no Hanashiwa Uso, which means his uh, 
story maybe uh, maybe if you just say kale no hanashi wo uso is mean his story are a lie or his story is a lie but if you put kamoshile nai is mean his story may be a lie or might be a lie something like this thank you much for watching my video clip and please help me subscribe my channel if you haven't i hope to see you about learning japanese in the next time arigatou gozaimashita